All right, guys. All right, I'm in my little studio area of the house here, and uh, I'm getting ready to uh, get some things ready to plant in my aquaponics. So I kind of want to show you guys uh, what I'm going to do here, and uh, follow. You know, we can follow along together here and watch these things grow from seed. Now, um, what I did was um, I, I purchased... Um, Um, these little slotted garden uh, net cups here, and um, and also purchased these uh, starter plugs. Okay, it's, uh, rock wool they call it. And and so what you do, you 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 know, I got a couple of them tore off here. You, you tear it off, and you and you put it in in the little cup, and then uh, you uh, what I did was uh, I made a, made a hole in it right in the center and I'm gonna put my seed in that center and then I'm gonna put these in the aquaponics and I'm gonna see what, how they're gonna grow so I have a hundred cups um, I have I have two two hundred of these so this this whole thing I'm gonna use so the first thing I'm gonna to do to get started I'm gonna go uh, and you don't have to you know I'm not gonna record the whole thing you watch me but I'm gonna go ahead and make a hole in the center of every one of these because they're going to get a seed in every one, okay? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, and I'll be right back. Okay, now now that I've done that, made a hole in every one of them. All right, so here's some bok choy seeds. Look at that, little bitty, little bitty seeds. And um, so I got me a pair of tweezers here, so I can do this one at a time. Okay, so I think the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to do them all in here, then I'm going to break it off and put it into the cups. So this is going to be a kind of a long process. Just really got to keep track of where you're at. But if this works, this would be well worth, uh, well worth doing all of this. Alright, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and uh, break these off and put them in the cups. I'm going to leave my finger over the hole to make sure that I don't lose the seed. So yeah, this is a slow process, but I'm excited to get it going. My aquaponics has been running for a good while now, and um, it's ready.
There it is. Okay. All right, so there's 25 of them there. Uh, and that's all bok choy. So when I make my row, I have this little this little thing here, and that's going to be my row of bok choy. So I'll, I'll stick it in the one that's going to be in the front like that, and I'll make the whole row, and I'll know that it's all bok choy. Instead of writing a uh, hundred of these things out, um, I just do one on each row, and, I'll, and I'll, I'm going to do that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of them ready. And... Uh, get the rest of them ready, and then I'll meet you out by the uh, by the aquaponics. Okay. All right. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, we're out here by the aquaponics. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bok choy in. I just did. I just did 20. First 20. Uh, so uh, here we have. I've been having this sitting in here. Um, I'm gonna show you the roots on it. Uh, look at that. And the roots are growing on the roots have grown a lot on this. This was just looked like that when I got it. Look at this. I'm gonna keep this in here and see if it continues to grow. I'm gonna be putting this right here on this very end right here. Now one thing I wish I had that I would recommend if you get into this, if you can afford it now, um, and I probably could have afforded it after I spent the money on these lava rocks. I wish I would have went ahead and just bought some medium, some some of those little uh, those little clay, little round clay. Uh, it's a medium for aquaponics, and it would be a whole lot easier to get in here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these little cups in here. This is bok choy. It's going to be the first row of bok choy. Um, it's going to take a little while to do this because digging through the rocks is not going to be an easy task. And uh, you got to get them down in there so that when the water fills up, they, they get wet. So, um, all right, so here we go. Kind of maybe ought to maybe lay these out a little bit. Make sure I kind of get uh, I can get them all fitted in here, huh? But, I mean, it's looking like 20 of them. Uh, it's actually uh, 40 inches here, so I got to keep these things two inches apart, which is almost uh, right up up against each other, really. Alright, so I see what I need to do. I need to go ahead and just kind of move the whole row out the way. Like I said, this is my first time actually doing this, you guys, uh, this way. I've never put this much in, in an aquaponics before. I only would put a few plants that I would get from a nursery. Put them in just like I did with this piece, this lettuce, this added lettuce here. But I'm kind of digging this out some. It's a lot of smaller rocks at the bottom. That's good. Maybe some of these rocks may be coming out. I'm not sure. Probably so, I would think. See, here's something growing in here. See how, how that is? It's rooted and everything. So, um... That's what made me think I can go ahead and do what I'm fixing to do here. I highly recommend you get the medium. There's another. Something else growing. See it? That just confirms to me that this is going to work. That's down there. Okay, so I need to probably 
not make these go down even further too. Just to make sure it gets in the water. Yeah, I can smell the uh, fish, the fishy water smell. So never really, I don't know if I've really ever smelled it like that before. Okay. This is good. This is really good now. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to make me a row here. Another little weed going. Okay, I might need to get me a little tool here to help scrape this out. Babies in here. Of course, I can see how it's hard for them to stand. We're gonna, we're gonna get it though. We will not be defeated. <laughs> Get it in here, then when I start putting the rocks back, I'll be able to situate it. If you'll see this, how, it, how it's going, yeah, they're gonna have to be really uh, right up against each other, close. To get them all in here. Okay, here's the last two. I'm going to go ahead and start trying to get some rocks around this. I'm going to have to be careful. I just can't. going to be something I'm going to be doing in the future is changing this out to the clay, the clay medium. Yes, I will. This is, this is too much, uh, too much like work. <laughs> okay, I got them starting to get in the water already down here. Oh yeah, all of them getting in the water. It's hard to reach all the way in the back. Okay, now let me get it.
Okay, that's in the row of bok choy here. Um, so we'll see how that's going to work. Um, so, you know, for those of y'all that not really understanding what's going on here with aquaponics is that uh, I have fish, raising fish in the tank below. And, uh, up, and it pumps the water right here uh, out of the tank and into the rock garden bed. Now, what it does, it fills this thing up to almost uh, the height of, the, of this here. It's about maybe a half inch lower than that. And the water gets in here, and this is a, what they call a bell siphon. And there's this pipe here that keeps the air uh, out of here. So when, when this thing starts filling up with water, there's a pipe inside of here that's about a half inch lower than this. So I got a bunch of holes in this big pipe. And the big pipe is just to guard all this from the rocks. So the water goes through those holes, it fills up. And uh, at the bottom of this one, I have notches cut out so that the water fills up in the inside of this one. And when it hits, gets to the top of the, the little pipe in between that's inside of here, that's about a half inch lower than this, the water starts pouring into that little pipe. Well, because this thing actually blocks the air off, it causes a siphon effect, and the water fills up and then it, it siphons out. Fills up, siphons out, fills up, siphons out. It just continually does this all day long. It fills up, and then it, it siphons down. Now what happens is, the water that comes in here, uh, through this little, that's coming from the tank, this water has got fish waste in it, okay? Which is really, it's not clean. I'm more, I'm washing my hands in it, but I'm trying to get some of this uh, rock dust off of me. Uh, it's not clean. Okay, that water by itself would kill the plants. But I, I let this process go on for two months, okay? Uh, what happens in nature and what hap happens here, and I know what's happening here because I stuck this lettuce in here and the lettuce is uh, staying alive and actually growing, okay? This was the lettuce that we got from Whole Foods. Uh, the, the root of it and I stuck it in here and so I know that the process is happening. So what happens in nature is that when uh, water, fish water, or just water in creeks, ponds and all, when they roll over the rocks, the water just rolls over the rocks, uh, what happens is uh, in nature there's a bacteria, there's a bacteria that forms in the rocks. And it, and it does a process, it takes the ammonia and begins to change it. And it changes it from ammonia to nitrate, which is still a poison, but it's not finished. And then there's other bacteria that takes the nitrate, because there's other bacteria in here that feed off of the nitrate. So first of all, there's bacteria in here that feed off the ammonia. And when they eat the ammonia, they... Uh, excrete nitrate when the, the bacteria that's growing in here that eats the nitrate excretes nitrogen and that's what the plants absorb is the nitrogen okay so this is the little process that goes on in here and it goes on all day long in here and this goes on in, in nature in the wild along creeks and uh uh, little small streams and all that, that's what goes on. Now I can see all these things are wet, so they're absorbing the water. So uh, I'm excited to see if these, if these seeds will start uh, germinating. So, you know, we got another week to see what's going to start happening here. And um, so I don't have to worry about water or nothing. Uh, now, this, what I'm growing here is more of a, a winter crop, okay? So direct sunlight. The, the, the heat that we have down here, it's not going to grow long and it's going to go to seed quick. So uh, what I'm trying to do under here is create a different type of atmosphere. Even though we're going to be in the middle of the summer, I'm going to try to keep this area shaded and cooler. And of course, down here in the south, 
if, if you walk out in the sun, it could be 90 degrees, and as soon as you walk into a shaded area, it can be anywhere from 5 to, to 8 degrees or lower, okay? So, um, so that just being in the shade creates, you know, a lower temperature. So, if I have to, I'm going to get shade cloth and shade this off, but uh, the way this is set, um, the sun usually, not, it's not today, it's a rainy day today, but the sun usually comes in here, but it doesn't come as far back as the as the grow bed so let me see if I can maybe get like this hold this and kind of explain it to you okay so the Sun comes in here and it beats right here and this is this is where the, the, my tank is under here you can see uh, let me get this to get a little light in here maybe you can see the fish there's fish in there I got uh, bluegills catfish and well you see some goldfish we won't be eating them but the other fish will be good for eating uh, and they'll grow so um, okay so this is the grow bed and it was starting to get some algae in it that's why I made these I made these, these doors and covered them I used a, uh, a black paper uh, that's really for gardens I put that down stapled it and I had some metals in the yard some kind of grill metal. I don't know the way I got it from, but I picked it up a couple of years ago. It's been sitting in my yard. So I cut that, made it fit over this opening because it's just a square two by six frame that's the middle's open. So this strengthened the middle. And uh, so anyway, that's protecting the water from growing algae because what it's doing is um, keeping the sun out. All right. So so up up here on the back side of the uh, the tank. Is a grow bed. This is where you do your planting at. Okay, this is where the rocks are. This is where that process I was talking to you about happens. Well, this section here doesn't get the sun. The sun comes in because the roof here blocks it. See the roof right here? Yeah. So the sun actually just hits in this area right here, not so much there. Now they get a little bit of sun in the morning time because the sun comes across the sky that way and it shoots in and they get a morning sun. Perfect. I think it's going to be, that's what, that's the exact same, re, re, the real reason why I put my aquaponics right here. I was, originally when I started all this, I was going to put it on the back wall, and I was going to put uh, in the, the roofing panels, I was going to put some, some roofing panels where the sunlight will come through. But uh, the more I thought about it was that uh, I just, it's, you know, uh, I was looking for ways to cut, cut my cost, okay, because buying those panels are more expensive than just getting this metal panel. So uh, I started watching how the sun was hitting in here, and uh, it just, it was like, ding, the light bulb went off. So I knew how to set this up, and this is how I have it set up. So I believe it's going to work fine. It's going to get morning sun, uh, and by the time noon comes, uh, there's no more sun, but, you know, uh, but they will always be getting nu nutrition from the fish water and the process in the rocks that's going to be happening the conversion that goes on from ammonia to nitrates to nitrogen and the plants will be drinking nitrogen and so you're going to see how fast once these seeds begin to germinate you're going to see how fast they're going to begin to multiply so look right here right here next to the aquaponics up oh, it just went off but there's the little little baby quail um, okay guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go inside, I'm going to go set the other ones up and get the seeds in them and come out here and plant all that and uh, I'll meet you back out here shortly, okay? Alright all right, guys, I'm out here by the aquaponic system and um, I went ahead and I made, I made some more, uh, I put some plugs and some more to, little containers to plant them. And I, what I'm doing, I'm going to plant 15 of the buttercrunch lettuce, and I have uh, five uh, celery. So that's what I'm going to do in here, and I have uh, 20 bok choy. Okay, so I'm going to get all that planted. Now, the other night, uh, I put the bok choy in here, and uh, I made like a row. I'm, I'm going to move them around. Uh, probably going to move them right now. But I did, uh, I did make a row. Uh, of the 20 well and uh, I did this um, two nights ago so it's really only been a day and a half and I want you to see 
something. Let me zoom in here and see if you could see this. Look at that. It's starting to germinate already. Put the camera focus. There we go. It's germinating already. There's another one. Uh, 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 see, I see several of them where the seeds are starting to starting to come up. Um, look, right there, you can see a little seed already in two days. They're beginning to germinate. That got me excited this morning, so I went ahead and put put some more uh, some lettuce together and some celery, and I'm gonna get that put it in the aquaponics um, right now. And um, that's what I'll be working on right now. Take you along with me today. Um, something I was saying the other night was that I would recommend to use the clay medium for, for the rocks and not rocks. It's actually a lot harder to get, get them in here. And uh, I am thinking about um, possibly scraping, like leaving some of it in here toward the bottom. Scraping some of this off the top and adding me some of those where, uh, you know, make it thick, thick enough where I could set these cups in there. Uh, it's two inches, you know, so they're set in there a good two inches and uh, it'd be easy to put them in. That's going uh, to be an adjustment I'm going to do on here. I am going to have better access from this side. I just have that small space there. Um, I might, I might move that that cage over a little bit, give me some space. But this is going to be my main access side. Now, um, you know, you're going to, you're going to. Uh, so I will be ending the the uh, strawberry wall right here. So I'm going to have all this to be able to uh, mess with. If I get me a little step stool, I'll be able to step over and reach all the way in here okay so uh, this is going to be the area where I am definitely going to work from excited about getting this going, uh, especially that I've seen that I have uh, seeds already germinating in two days. That really pumped me up to get, get the rest of this stuff planted in here. And then it's going to motivate me to get the rest of this finished so that uh, I can block a lot of the sun and keep this thing from getting really, uh, you know, from all the greens uh, going to seed real quick. Alright guys, I got everything in. I got uh, I got 20 bok choy, 
15 of the butter crunch lettuce and I got five celery in here so let's see how it goes and um, I'll show you again one of the bok choy I'm seeing right here um, you can probably see how it began to seed let's see I gotta zoom in on it for you there it is started seeding already in less than two days and I have several of them like that so I'm gonna keep an eye on this and uh, and then uh, definitely got to get started on keeping this thing shaded um, putting a fan in here because it's it's humid it's humid out here and um, I gotta just keep keep it cool I gotta keep it as cool as I can I think they can tolerate some heat okay um, because they, they can tolerate the sun hitting on them they just can't tolerate you know um, that happened to them all day long and having extreme heat because we get some extreme high heats here alright you guys I'll keep you updated on the aquaponics and how it's going uh, so far so good it's looking good to me so far it's kind of got me a little excited because uh, I've never started seeds and aquaponics so I don't know if this is going to be good it, you know it might be too much for the seed and it might not do it I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see so this is the a trial and error for me we'll, we'll get this uh, show you how, how it's going so all right you guys uh, you guys be blessed okay I'll see y'all in the next video